Hello everyone, welcome back to Linked Frequency. I am Vaibhav Sugandhi and in this particular tutorial giving you explanation about how to integrate an actuator with Arduino development board. I am going to show you how to use Arduino IDE for developing your code and also use Tinkercad platform to develop your virtual circuit and also simulate your entire circuit. Without further delay, let's get started. All right, welcome back to this particular screen recording and we are in front of this Tinkercad platform and I'm going to show you how exactly we are going to integrate that actuator with Arduino development board. Now what we need to do is we need to land on this particular place where we are going to conduct our experiment and simulate it. I believe you guys are aware of how to come to this place and start experimenting with your ideas. But right now I'm going to show you how exactly I can integrate uh, an actuator with Arduino development board. First of all, we need to change the name of this entire project, the related pro name of the entire project. So my project is all about actuator integration with Arduino. So I just renamed it and we need not to hit that control S because it is going to auto save by itself provided you have active internet connection in your computer. Thereafter, what we need to do is we need to change this basic component section to all component sections so that we can explore different different actuators available in this platform. First of all, what we need to do is we need to go through uh, you know available actuators. We have LED here, we have RGB LED, we have a light bulb which is not at all a requirement at, at this point of time and we have a Neo, uh, NeoPixel LED here and we have a bunch of NeoPixel LED in the form of ring, in the form of jewel, whatever it is, okay. So thereafter we have NeoPixel strip LEDs again, I don't know why they are keeping this much of option on this platform but yeah, they are here. We have a vibration motor and we have a DC motor, DC motor with encoder. DC motor with X encoder, different different types. I mean, these two are different types actually. Servo motor we have micro servo and normal servo motor SG90. Uh, hobby uh, gear motor is available. Piezo sensor is a piezo actuator is available, which is a buzzer basically. And then IR remote and seven segment display and 16 cross L uh, two LCD. I'm not going to integrate a very complex one because this is going to be a kind of introductory session for you to learn how to integrate an actuator with Arduino development board because of which I'm going to use RGB LED. Today I'm going to show you how exactly you can interface RGB LED with Arduino development board and create wonders out of this particular single LED. I'm going to sh say, share something with you. Please uh, stay tuned till the end. Let me start with bringing in a breadboard because that is the most important thing to start our entire experiment. So this time I would like to go with a small breadboard because not necessary to bring that one big breadboard. So just I, just, just I wanted to go with the small one and thereafter what we need to do is we need to go for um, RGB LED. So I'll just go here and bring that RGB LED and I'll place it somewhere in the middle. Notice when you are hovering your mouse cursor on the pin of each component, any component you select, you will get to know what that particular pin is meant for in that particular component. So right now for this RGB LED, this one is a red color pin. This one is cathode, which is a kind of negative pin for the entire LED. And this one is blue color and this one is green color. So quickly what we need to do is basics of electronic comes into the picture here where we need to add a single resistor in front of all color pins, which is indicated by red, blue and green. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in a resistor. Of course, I'm going to place it like this so that it is quite easy for me to you know, connect other wires very easily. And very, very important, you must make sure that the value of this resistance should be selected previously, which is all about 100 ohm, not 100 kilo ohm. If you make it as 100 kilo ohm, you cannot see that LED glowing. So just make sure that you make it as 100 ohm, okay? So thereafter, I'm going to bring another two LEDs. And of course, I'm going to change the um, you know value of those resistor as well. 100 ohm. That's amazing. So and I'll just make sure that they are placed properly. Yeah, they are placed properly. Cathode pin is open for us to connect a ground pin. That's amazing. So RGB LED is ready. What we need to do is we need to bring Arduino, which is Arduino Uno R3. And I would like to place this Arduino somewhere in this place. Why? Because it is quite easy for me to connect our GPIO. 
okay that's that's the reason I'm, I'm placing this Arduino a little bit just below to that mini breadboard okay let me connect this um, you know uh, whatever uh, red color pin which is connected to this 100 ohm resistor and I'll connect it to 13th pin of our Arduino Uno development board and I'll just try to make it as, as straight as possible and uh, of course I'm going to change the color of this wire to red why because we are using a red color pin connection over there and cathode pin I just wanted to establish a cathode pin connection from that point to this point so that I can connect it anywhere wherever it is essential of course we have a cathode I mean the ground connection here only that's why I'm going to use that same ground connection yep wonderful thereafter what I'm going to do is uh, we have a blue color I guess yeah it's a blue color so I'm going to change this one to blue color blue okay thereafter we need to just go here and try to connect this one okay i really don't know how to make it connected so let me just use whatever best possible ways that we can do <laughs> so now what we need to do is we need to change our color of the uh, connector i mean the wire connecting wire to green because we are going to connect a green color led a pin to this particular pin so i'm just trying to make it as uh, good as possible but not sure whether it looks good or not um, however we just need to establish a connection here so let me try with this kind of a connection which ensures a ground pin is connected to cathode of the led and red green blue is connected as per the requirement wonderful so now our hardware is ready i guess right so we can see that hardware is already ready so we just need to go for arduino ide and start coding let me jump into Arduino ID here in front of me Arduino ID so I already saved this particular code or sketch in, in specific directory with a proper name that is actuator integration with Arduino and I named it as actuator integration Arduino by in my directory okay so now what we need to do is we need to clear up the entire ID I mean the code section so that we can write our code which is my favorite so let me start with this <laughs> So thereafter, we discussed about something called hash define in the previous uh, tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it and you learned about it. So today I'm going to use hash define much more easy and much more powerful. Why? Because we are going to use three GPIO at a time and using three GPIO at a time. And if you want to change those three GPIO, it is going to be a very hectic code or hectic process in the coming pro you know, protocol. Instead of that, we are going to use hash, uh, hash define, um, you know, preprocessor directives and all those things, which are going to help us to define our uh, specific GPIO very easily. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write a hash define here, R LED, which is a red color LED, where it is connected, red color LED, it's connected to pin number 13. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write, um, you know, just 13 here because it's a GPIO, digital G a GPIO. So hash define B LED, which is connected to 12th pin and then hash define uh, G LED, which is connected to 11th pin. Let me cross verify once again. 12th pin is blue color LED, 11th pin is green color LED. So blue color LED, B blue, yep, green color. Yes, absolutely perfect. So this is, this is all about right connection. So let me come back to Arduino ID. Here it is. What we need to do the, with these GPIO, we need to make them as output. Why? Because we are connecting an actuator with Arduino development board because RGB LED is all about converting electrical signal into light energy, different color light energy, right? So that's why we call it as an actuator. So what we need to do is we need to use pin mode and here instead of using a GPIO number, I'm going to use those um, you know fancy name that I have given. Instead of giving RLED, if you give your name also, it, it works actually, but it is not a professional programming methodology. Instead of that, I'm, I'm going to use a professional programming methodology or maybe a professional programming methods. So that's why I'm using RLED, which is proper name, right? RLED as output, because that's what we need. Oh, sorry, <laughs> output. Thereafter, I'm just a kind of a lazy person. So let me use my shortcuts. So instead of writing R LED, I'll write it as a B LED and instead of writing, um, you know, R LED again, I'm, I'm going to use it as G LED. So we are done with creating, um, you know, output configuration for these uh, 
uh, specific GPIOs with respect to this particular project. Thereafter, if we need a serial monitor, we can always use that. There is no necessary that uh, it's not a mandatory thing or it is not so essential at this point of time. But still, if you want, you can literally, uh, sorry, print LN, right? Yeah, PRI. <laughs> print LN. So I just forgot what to write there. So uh, instead of using a serial uh, communication, we can directly see results on our LED directly because it is visible to us. But however, it's your choice. If you want, you can use it. Okay. Welcome to RGB LED program or project we can call it as. Okay. That's amazing. Thereafter, in a loop, what we need to do is we need to start working on creating a different different um, um, color combination with this specific LED. Right now, we all know that color mixture is going to give you a different color, right? If you mix white and yellow, you will get kind of a light yellow. Or maybe if you mix a little bit red color and yellow, you will get a kind of orange color. So in reality, we mix color to get or derive one more color. The same way in, in digital technology, we have to use a different color LEDs to mix them and get some uh, you know mixture color. In that sense, I would like to say you something very important to remember and uh, you know try by yourself. This single RGB LED, whichever you are seeing here, a single RGB LED, only one LED. I am not talking about bunch of LEDs. Only single LED is going to be capable of developing or generating more than sixty-seven thousand colors. Shocking, right? But that's the truth. A single RGB LED can be used to, to generate 67,000 different colors, more than 67,000. If you want, try to explore it. Let me see if you can explore that specific um, hack inside that. Okay, that is going to be a kind of assignment to you. So I'm not going to show you all those uh, 67,000 plus uh, color combination code and all those things. Instead of that, I'm going to give you idea or maybe a simple code which will generate um, specific combination of light over here and uh, that will create a different color on this uh, specific LED okay so let me go and uh, try with uh, this uh, specific opportunity which is all about creating different colors from a single LED which is obviously RGB LED so what we are going to do is we are going to write a digital write instruction here and it will generate some high and low signal to specific color so that we can mix the colors we have a three different colors so we can create up to eight combination in that one combination is negligible which is off condition when we send a zero 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 to all three of those pin then obviously it will generate no color no led no color that's why we call it as a black color in normal condition but no it's not a black color so it's no color so i don't consider that one so we have a seven different ways where we can com combine the color and create some new color let me show you a couple of them and i would like to uh, develop all those seven combination here first of all we have our led I'll consider R LED as a first one. So I'll create a high signal on R LED. Meanwhile, I'll create um, you know low signal on um, you know B LED. B LED is going to be a second one according to me. And um, digital right uh, G LED, which is again one more uh, available, which is um, you know. Uh, the third option for me. So when we write these bunch of code at a time, what happens? All these uh, instructions are going to create uh, one specific color on on this particular RGB LED. So I'll, I'll add one second delay in between so that we can visualize that color before it vanishes. So R LED is high, low, B LED is low, G LED is low. That means it is going to create high intensity by that on, on R LED, which is all about red color. What I'm going to do is I'm going to you know, change this one. I mean, I'm just copying and pasting it here. Now I'll keep R LED low and B LED high. Okay. When I keep B LED high, what happens? It will create a blue color light. Thereafter, I'm again going to copy this one and um, you know, kind of paste it here. What I'm going to do is um, I'm going to create one more combination here, which is all about both high. 
I mean, red LED is high and blue LED is high. When red color is also coming and blue color is also coming, we are going to observe a new color. It's a kind of uh, pink color as per my knowledge. Let me explore. The same way, I'm going to create one more color combination, which is all about, we have a three of them. So I think you can understand the um, you know idea here, okay? So I'll just make this low, both of low, but green LED high. That means we have one combination which all uh, generate only green color. Now what I will do, I'll keep this green color high and I'll make a blue color high and a red color low. Okay, this will create one more combination. Thereafter, I'll, I'll create, a, sorry, it started compiling. No, not necessary. <laughs> so uh, after that, what I'm going to do is I'll keep a red color high and blue color low along with the green color high which will create one more um, that's great actually without having a clarity you know our code got compiled <laughs> that's a great thing i mean without yet completing uh, it's it's uh, compiled and there is no error by the way <laughs> that's a beautiful thing so thereafter what we need to do is we need to create one more combination where all these three leds are high that's amazing right so we are going to explore which color comes after uh, executing this code. Of course, it is going to be a white color, which we are very much aware. Thereafter, I'll make a all color low, which is a kind of end color, like, you know, uh, starting from zero again. You can notice we have uh, one combination here, second combination here, and the third one here, fourth one here, fifth one here, sixth one, and seventh one. Wonderful. I think you can notice that almost every combination we tried here if you want you can try any other combinations if you are really interested and of course you can always try with that 67,000 different color generation by using single rgb led right now i'm going to copy this entire code and go back to tinkercad platform click on the code section change to text copy this code delete it paste my code and save it up of course sorry <laughs> it's it's a muscle memory right so i need not to save it actually why because not necessary and then click on start simulation very excited to see what exactly comes as output you can see that serial monitor is printing welcome to rgb led oh my god something wrong is happening here you can notice rgb led is getting burnt why because uh, this 100 ohm resistance is not sufficient for it so what I, what I will do i'll stop simulating and i will change this 100 ohm to say for example uh, you know 470 ohm let me give a try whether it is sufficient or not or maybe a too much i really don't know so just just let me make it as a 470 ohm everywhere thereafter start simulating now i think you can see that it is generating all those color combination can you see this one yellow color and light blue color all these things are unexpected because the combination of two different color is giving us a different uh, result at the end and how we are generating it by using a coding program or coding methodology okay the pattern and in which we are creating a code now you can notice um, you know it is creating a pink color green color light blue color and also a kind of yellow color which is based on combination of red and blue and green color uh, that is emerging from single led this is how you can integrate an actuator with Arduino development board by using Tinkercad platform and using Arduino IDE for writing your code. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you learnt it and I hope you are going to do it by yourself. And I also believe that you give at least a try about how to create a 67,000 plus color generation by using a single RGB LED. All right. I hope you enjoyed the entire process and I believe you are going to try yourself by simulating something on Tinkercad and come up with a result. Thank you so much for watching this particular tutorial and consider subscribing to our channel Linked Frequency. Tune yourself to make a difference.